is going to be White Raw as the Red Protoss. We are once again in the uh, winner's matches for the group stages of the Root War Zone. Uh, you should visit root-gaming.com, our website, uh, where you can visit our forums. We have news posts, replays, and by putting hits under our website and just visiting, it will help us out as we look for future sponsors. Of course, DreamHost, the ones who are putting up the prize for this tournament, have been absolutely wonderful so far um, with the website and the hosting that they provide us. So you should support them at DreamHost.com. Uh, they've just been absolutely wonderful. Uh, like Katz keeps saying, they're one of the only companies that's supporting gaming at the moment, so if you do need any sorts of web hosting in the future, look into them at DreamHost.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone asked if Raelkun is in Root. Raelkun is a member of Root, by the way. Mm-hmm. He's uh, not a player, but he's a member and a valuable at that. So. Yep. Just making sure people know. Thank you, Katz. No uh, problem. <laughs> so we see, you know, Brad OK building away from his ramp. Um, would expect to see uh, at least a two racks opening, as the multiple barracks are very standard versus Protoss at the moment. He knew. With an all new world no one ever thought uh, that's a commercial that stream. The okay, go. <laughs> okay, uh, of course, with these cross positions, he could be able to go for something like a one racks expand as. Uh, White Raw might be able to as well. Um, so we'll have to see how this plays out. But, um, you know, I'm just really curious how this is going to wind up working out because White Raw is one of those players who's very, very strong. Players. And uh, as you learned, he's capable of just randomly all inning you when you're not expecting it. Um, so he's a tough player to face. And we'll have to see how Brad OK reacts to this. Oh, yeah. second cast. I really like unpredictable players. Uh, you know, just just because it makes them that that much stronger in tournaments and, and such. Because you you never know what to expect. You can't you can't just face White Red expecting him to go for a straight up game because he might just do something off. It's uh, you know, th- there's there's a lot of factors like this that come into play. Um, even. You, you feel more comfortable playing a player that you know what he's doing. And, uh, for example, playing my teammates in tournaments, although they're, like, amazing players, I'm, like, not as nervous because I kind of know what to expect. So uh, it's, 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 uh, it's surprising players like White Wrath that uh, can usually shock people at tournaments like this. So uh, we shall see how the game develops. Yeah, so we do have a Reaper out for Brad OK. He's going to use this for scouting. He's going to be able to hit both these watchtowers, check things out. Um, if he takes the time, he'll be able to kill this Zealot as well. See, it does not actually take too long to take down that Zealot with the great damage and the speed. He just does want to be able to get this over into his opponent's base. He's trying to skirt away from this Stalker. Because the, the Reaper, one of the major benefits is the scouting. But excellent job here by White Raw, moving his Stalker to cut off the Reaper so he cannot jump into the base. Very well done there by uh, White Raw. Extremely intelligent play. And he is able to bait the, the Reaper off the cliff uh, while Brad OK is doing other things in his base. So this Reaper, he did get one Zealot, but that's not what he wanted. He wanted to be able to get up into White Raw's base and see exactly what's going on. And he would see that there's four gateways with uh, warp gates almost done. There's a pylon going down in the center of this map. Uh, Brad OK is still completely in the dark. His factory completely lifting off. He's now going for a starport with a tech lab with two more barracks on the way. But uh, this, this is going to be really tough for him to get enough units out here in time to stop this. This Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> you care to elaborate on that? No. Nah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So we do see this pylon in the center. He's starting to warp in these forces from his four warp gates. Fourth one's just finishing up. There's a raven on the way uh, yep. for Brad OK. Instead of a really quick banshee, he does have one bunker, uh, which he might be able to hold by master pairing, but... Uh, this is a lot of units. If he can get some good force fields out of the bunker, he should be able to take this out. You'll see very common strategy is to just force field the bunker so that they oh. cannot repair it. 
Let's see if he can get any of those down. It looks like it's going to fall anyway. It's not necessary. The Raven pops out with not enough energy for a point defense drone, so he does have to drop an auto turret. An auto turret basically is a super beefy marine, so it's not a bad choice. But there's... Really I thought Braddock didn't pull his entire SAE line and he saw this coming. Yeah, um... Might have made a really big difference, as you can see. White Rod's just continuing to warp in forces, taking out the reactor first, which is a very good decision by him. It will severely cut into the production capability of Brad OK, uh, but now he does have to actually work on these Marines. Here comes the SCVs, but they're in a really bad spot. They can't really get into a... Uh, it into a good spot to engage these forces here by White Raw. All of the SCVs are falling, and he's just not made any significant dent in the forces of White Raw. Like we were saying, White Raw fully capable of just pulling out a random four okay, gate. Right now, because he's not leaving. There we go. Na eto mozgo toje momongo nano. So White Rod does take out Brad O'K okay with a very aggressive 48, catches him completely off guard with that amazing job denying that Reaper scouting with that Stalker. That was very crucial, um, because if that Reaper had gone in there and seen what was coming, he definitely would have been able a little bit more prepared, possibly had some more bunkers up. It would have been a completely different game. But White Rod does win that um, in pretty spectacular fashion. Yeah. Um, by the way, that that was that was not French for the people in chat. <laughs> I was just trying to read what Braddock typed, but obviously my Russian's not the best Russian in the world, so it sounded like a spell in Elvish or something. But. <laughs>